A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. Last week I discovered the most beautiful things that I've ever created on a WordPress website. They're super easy to do. I'm going to show you step by step how to do them. But first, here they are. Every single one of those effects was created just using the core WordPress cover block and a sprinkling of imagination. Some of them I planned, uh, but some of them were just discovered by accident as I tooled away and got slightly obsessed for the week, just pushing the boundaries of what was possible just with the core WordPress blocks. Let's start with this one. You can see as I scroll the page how the background stars move up and the moon moves up, but the mountains are fixed in their position, so you get this fantastic natural movement. It reminds me a little bit of the books that I used to read my kids at bedtime, but it's expected and really beautiful. You get this lovely sort of cutout and very crafty feel to your pages. I'm going to show you how to build this on your own sites when we dive into Gutenberg. But to start with, a tiny bit of theory on how this is working. Two pieces of paper. We're going very old school. So essentially how we're doing this in the editor, and I will take you into it, is we've got two layers. We've got this first layer here and this second layer here. This first layer has a cutout and a transparency. And as the user scrolls the page, the fixed element stays fixed, but the background moves up naturally with the scroll. So it creates the effect of movement. So start by adding the cover block. So we're going to use the keyboard shortcut forward slash cover, then hit return. Now choose media library and we're going to select our background layer. Now for us, it's going to be our starry sky and our moon. Then just click select in the bottom right hand corner to add that in. Now we're going to make this full height by clicking that little icon in the top. And we're also going to make it full width. Next, we're going to go over to the block settings panel and we're going to reduce the overlay opacity by just sliding that down to the left. And then finally, we're going to remove any padding because each cover block has some natural padding to the top and the bottom. You won't see it though, so slide the slider to the right and then fully to the left to remove any padding from the top and the bottom and then do exactly the same for the left and the right. Next up, we're going to add our second layer, which is also going to be a cover block. So forward slash cover, but this time we're going to add the foreground mountains that we've cut out. I will show you a super easy way to cut out images in a few minutes time. And for this one also, we want to make it full height by choosing that little icon on the top. And we're also going to make it full width. And now we have our two layers together, but you can see as I move at the page, they're both moving with the scroll. We need to make the first layer have a fixed background. So just come across to the right in the block settings panel, making sure you have the top layer selected and just choose fixed background. Now you can see we've got this lovely separation. So as we scroll up the page, the background layer moves, but the foreground remains static. And of course, because it's the cover block, we can put any other blocks within it. Paragraph block, or in this case, a buttons block, anything you like. And what I really love about this is you get this fantastic 3D effect. You can see the background layer here with our moon, but our text here, those are both actually on the same layer, but our mountains are sandwiched between it. So we get this amazing, beautiful effect, really in no time at all. It's super easy to do, but I just think it's absolutely stunning. Next up is the scroll snap. You can see as I'm scrolling down the page, it's snapping exactly to the next cover block. So you get these wonderful transitions between each cover block section. Let's jump into the site editor to show you exactly how I've done this. So the first thing is you just add a whole bunch of cover blocks here. You can see on the left, the first one I fix. So the first one I set the background as fixed and I add an image. The second one I don't set as fixed background. And then you get this lovely effect as it stacks on top of it. The third one, I also fix the background. So you can see now as I scroll up, 
that's fixed and then that third one is fixed but the fourth one I don't fix the background it's up to you how you play around with those that's just what I like to do on this one then you have to group them all so you put them all in a group and that group you have to put in a tiny bit of CSS first you have to give it a class name you can see down here I've given it a class name then you add the CSS I will put a link to the exact CSS in a link in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Here is the code snippet that I used. I actually generated this using ChatGPT. This is the code snippet that I use to do the snap to scroll. But as I say, I'll put a link in the description so you can just copy and paste this into your own sites. The font reverse is actually super easy. I saw this effect on somebody else's website and really liked it and tried to recreate it. And it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is add two cover blocks and then add two images, one the reverse of the other one. And then all you need to do is fix each one. So if I fix the first one and then fix the second one using our fixed settings, you see as I scroll up, you get this amazing transition effect. The next effect, which I call the animation, takes inspiration from Edward Moybridge's series of photographs, which he pieced together to create the first ever film in 1878. And you can recreate exactly the same effect using Gutenberg. Just add a sequential series of photographs and set each cover block to have a fixed background. To add your Rick Roll effect, we're going to add two cover blocks, just like we've done before, make them exactly the same size, but on your top layer, as in Rick in my case, you're going to use the free 20 plugin, come across to styles in the cover block, come all the way to the bottom, and you'll see we've got this brand new option down here, which is hover effect, and you've got different options in here, just select reveal content, show on touch devices. And all the images that you're seeing that I use today are created using the alpha of Midjourney, which is just fantastic because you get all these easy to use controls down here, which normally you'd have to put in as text prompts, but now you can just use these. It's super easy. For example, you can do things like change the aspect ratio, just like so. And you can also do things like vary regions, super easy. So if you want to remove the moon here, you can just circle around it like that and then just change the prompt down here. There is one thing to note though, the fixed property doesn't display properly on an iPhone. It'll display, but it just won't be fixed to the background. It'll look okay, but you might want to consider using a plugin like the Block Visibility plugin by Nick Diego, which is free. So you can swap that out on a mobile phone and display a different set of blocks or just a different version of what you've designed in the block editor. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, if you can give it a like, that'd be amazing because it makes a huge, 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 huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. It really, really does. So thank you if you can. Also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see other examples of what I've just shown you, watch this video. Otherwise, keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.